we must pray there's no room for carelessness we must pray lift your voice and pray in tongues for a while Make sure you participate, everybody. Don't be tired. We are praying. Young and old, everyone pray. Are you praying? Hallelujah. Anointing for As a prayer from the depth of your heart. Listen, our family members are depending on us, not our preaching. The activity of the power of God upon our lives. There are people standing here. Let me tell you, listen, this thing that I saw, there are families I know. I saw it happening to in that vision. And I like you to pray. You are not desiring the anointing out of covetousness. You need it. There are, there are thrones and dominions that must be subdued. And Apostle Joshua Selma may not be there. The goal is not to have one superstar. The goal is that you carry fire and go to your regions and begin to speak the purposes of God. And while you are doing that, God will compel men to lift you. It has nothing to do with ministry. Please, I'd like you to pray and say, Father, let a strange unction fall upon my life. Oh, let the earthly become heavenly. Let the earthly become heavenly. Let the earthly become heavenly. In this season, they that will survive must be men of power, authentic unction, unction beyond imagination, unction beyond argument, unction beyond argument, unction beyond argument. Ta 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 ta. Ta 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 parakata. Lord, send that fire upon my life. Send that fire upon my gifts. Send that fire upon my degree. Send that fire upon my PhD. Send that fire upon my business. Send that fire upon my company. Send that fire upon my church. Send 
set fire upon my family Oh yes, send that fire upon my life. Send that unction upon my life. The earnest expectation of creation awaits my manifestation. Thou shall arise and have mercy upon Zion for the time to favor her. Yea, the set time. 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 Hallelujah. Listen, listen. One encounter with the anointing can give you an open door that your lifetime will not exhaust it if you believe what I'm telling you. One encounter, one, one encounter can open a financial door for you that will wipe your tears. One encounter can make you a friend to somebody who will pay your being a friend with him forever one encounter listen listen hallelujah i'd like you to pray a prayer you've heard us pray it here but i want you to pray it with all your heart everyone appointed to reward my grace i compel them to appear go ahead and pray it's not enough to have an anointing there are men who can reward your grace there are institutions send them oh god to koinonia send them to your people men and women who need what you carry your entrepreneurial anointing your leadership anointing your spirit of motherhood send them to my life oh god men and women who have what it takes hallelujah hallelujah listen listen look up look up I know very anointed men and women they love God passionately but they have never met the people assigned to bless them you don't preach for money you don't carry the anointing just for money but you see God designed it in such a way that as you dispense the realities of the kingdom there is a feedback system that should empower you so you continue being effective are we together listen the day you stand in the presence you see many of us are around people who love our gifts but do not have the grace to reward it are we together you can labor and pray and fast and go and preach somewhere and someone will pat your back and say wow you are an awesome man of god i've never seen a man of god in this state like you that's not enough reward but there is a way you can have an encounter and someone will come and bring a generator buy you a car and say what does it take to stop you from thinking about the finances if you are such a voice i should sponsor you rising to any level there are men like that there are some of us the value you have now let me tell you sincerely the value you have now you is is enough for you to be blessed forever but you have not encountered those who have what it takes listen there are pastors hear me who until you preach somewhere where your helpers are that's what will expand your church all of a sudden it will be like they are hearing you for the first time yes i know there are millions of men of god in nigeria but there are others assigned to honor you 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 
you can be singing singing songs laboring and traveling from pillar to post but if you can discern god can send you to somebody who has the means but needs your music when it was time for the lifting of david a spirit was upon saul and saul needed a musician to drive it all of a sudden they went and fished out david how many times did david play for saul when he played just once saul loved him there are circles that i have entered and i ministered once and god connected me to people who will bless me forever and that day it wasn't even as if i was saying anything it was just that god connected me to people who will be blessed tomorrow we're in asaba a mighty meeting happening in the stadium and we're going to minister they started preparing for this meeting tomorrow one year one year they came to book one year in advance they have been praying logistics publicity all over the city and we are going to go and storm the gates of hell there is some you are not assigned everywhere look you need to pray that those assigned to honor what you carry otherwise you'll be frustrated trying to be everything to anybody lift your voice one more time and say direct them oh god direct them direct them to me oh in this season direct my blessers direct those you have sent to be blessed by my ministry direct those who have been sent to be blessed by my business direct them you are a prophet but not to everyone that God will bring the ears of those who have been anointed to hear your voice you are an apostle not to everyone that God will direct the people the institutions hallelujah We're going to be praying that in this season please hear me that in this season god will grant you grace to have passion for the house of god that you will not allow the devil corner you somewhere and destroy you and destroy your family he said as for me and my house i don't know about you but as for me i have made up but the bible says they that be planted no flimsy excuses oh we are tired today they that be planted in the house of god they will flourish in the courts of our god i'd like you to pray passionately and say lord grace and passion for your house grace and passion grace and passion for your house supernatural grace supernatural passion for your house for your house for your house hallelujah hallelujah for rounding up one category of people who will be exempted from any nonsense in this season are passionate and addicted soul winners listen listen there was a time they needed money to pay for tax it was a period that they needed money desperately they had come to collect tax and jesus said go and catch fish and fish in the bible is symbolic of souls when they caught those souls in that mission work they found money as they were preaching god provided a way as they were preaching fishers of men they went to fish and they said open the mouth of that fish as that fish testifies the greatness of god and confesses with his mouth the lordship of christ you engage a law automatically that brings you wealth hear me 
please believe what i'm saying there are many people here who love god we are prayer warriors but we are not so winners you stand up alone and drag yourself to koinonia you wave your roommates you wave your family members you come here and get blessed while you are getting blessed the devil is using them to destroy your blessing you go back home a so winner is an intercessor lord you must change my family members there are people who can come on friday and say look i'm going around this place have you heard about koinonia you've never really come you see this this our shame big boy big girl there are no big boys and big girls in the kingdom it takes passion when you are doggedly involved in soul winning you schedule seasons of exemption i can tell you this i can tell you this are we together you are in your office you are there and you leave every other person someone tells you uh -uh, um the devil is trying to manipulate my life or god jordan did something today that blessed me so so much some people came to his shop to buy books and the way they began to talk at once he knew it was a demonic situation god has given you spiritual intelligence there is a way you hear people talk what they are saying in the realm of the spirit is i need help you just listen to them and say bye-bye the moment they began to talk you know oga jordan said this and that they wanted to see me and he said oh it may not be easy to see me. but he bought communion and took a bike and came and said i should pray on the communion and returned it back and gave the people and i was looking at him i said why won't he explode let me tell you if god if your life becomes an epitome of support for god's interest forget about begging this is the god i serve you may not know all you need to know but that your life can find space to bring god this is how this ministry started every night somebody was dragging somebody come and get filled with the holy ghost come and get born again you may not have the power to change them but you have what it takes to invite them some of you 50 naira is what you need to draw a soul ah koinonia has a crowd it's not about competition of crowd it's about destinies that must change are we together what's wrong with calling your loved ones and say there is there is a platform now to hear this online since you think you are too sick to come connect to the miracle service you see let me tell you something this is what we do that produces some of the results anybody that is too big to win souls is too big to experience the favor of god if you are too big to win souls too big to win souls ah i preached and they insulted me so what didn't jesus say it blessed are you when men persecute and revile you rejoice for so they did the prophets and the rest you have social media platforms that you can use as platforms to draw people to the house of god where they can be blessed you see until you see yourself as part of what god is doing you are not entitled to his blessings when you see yourself as somebody who just comes for koinonia leave the workers and the ministers when you exempt yourself you also exempt yourself from that covenant of blessing he said if you are the children of abraham you will do the works of abraham i'd like you to pray before i speak over our lives lord grace to be intentional about saving people from the kingdom of darkness to the kingdom of light open your mouth and pray open your mouth and pray open your mouth and pray grace to be a conduit for someone to be filled with the holy ghost grace to be a channel for someone to receive the teachings that will change their life hallelujah please lift your hands i want to pray for you and i want you to believe it praise the lord this prayer 
it's it's not just i know that i pray impartations every time don't you think you are getting the same thing you see one thing with grace is when it comes yes i know that some of us it's not yet time for manifestation but you can begin to do something with it are we together one day instead of dragging somebody to go for prayer department prayer before the prayer department teach the person on the baptism in the holy ghost and try to lay hands on the person by yourself before you go everybody must have room to start something if someone is sick don't just say here is apostle's number here is head of department prayer here is a sister head of department here is a jimmy or pastor femi or pastor alpha or every any any other person no you can tell him look i agree with you i am part of a family that has a healing anointing and i want to agree with you if you pray with the person and nothing happens there's nothing to be embarrassed about everybody you see had an occasion to begin to exercise themselves anointings are useless if you are not ready to use them god does not waste he said gather the fragments that there be no waste are we together i want to pray for you there are three things i'm going to pray for you the anointing for uncommon wisdom that's the first thing i'll pray for you let me tell you i know many foolish people it's not by age i have seen this ancient wisdom upon my life as young as i look i have seen it i know it is real i saw it in people i coveted it with my heart and the day it landed upon me i knew the anointing for wisdom strategies two the anointing for favor you need favor in this season favor is not when you do things by yourself favor is when god raises men to do things for you it's not about having money it's about the appearance of men in your life to wipe your tears it's called favor number three the supernatural power of the holy ghost to provide solutions to people there are sick people there are oppressed people waiting for joshua selman to heal everybody's idolatry that's not god's design god's design is that you become an extension of what we represent that when we cannot be there can arise they tell you a woman is failing to give birth you lay hands on her stomach and ask her to give birth there and then no cs it has nothing to do with being a pastor or being a prophet you don't need to carry any ministry you just need to carry the spirit of grace lift your hands the spirit of wisdom spirit of wisdom there is a level of wisdom that is beyond age it's not found in the realm of men it comes from heaven job was asked a question when cometh this wisdom where is it where is it they ask the place of the dead and he says it's not with us we don't know where it is he said only god knows the place thereof hmm? whose price is higher than rubies he said does not wisdom cry her price is far above rubies right he said by me kings reign and princes decree justice with me are riches wealth and honor yea durable riches and righteousness I pray for you in the name of Jesus. The grace for supernatural wisdom, uncommon wisdom. Let it come upon your life in the name of Jesus. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Receive it in the name of Jesus. From today, you begin to function at a frequency of wisdom that no man will begin to gain say or resist number two the bible says all who saw esther loved her favor there is such a thing as favor there is such a thing as divine supernatural not man-made arranged favor favor from strangers when those who know you favor you it makes sense when a stranger is moved by the holy ghost to serve the purposes of god in your life your business and your ministry then you know that that's favor receive that grace for favor receive that grace for favor receive that grace for favor listen 
some of you before the end of this night strange testimonies strange testimonies you are thinking of buying a bible someone brings it you are thinking of buying something someone brings it now that's favor you are looking for a place to pray someone says i have my room anytime you need to pray i give you that's favor you are trusting god to travel for a meeting somewhere you are stranded in car someone says i will sponsor you pay for your flight and bring you back receive that order of testimonies in the name of jesus christ oh it will come upon you believe me believe me you will carry it bodily and go out with it hallelujah the last prayer lift your hands this one will come upon you big listen we need miracles signs and wonders the ministry of miracles has not ended signs and wonders the sick healed the oppressed delivered you command breakthroughs in the lives and destinies of men don't just waste words as you speak to people you influence the realm of the spirit to provide solutions for people lift your hands father i pray over your people that ordinary life that ordinary preaching that doing things ordinary from today step into the supernatural step into the supernatural step into the supernatural the unction for signs wonders and miracles let it come upon your life right now the ability to see the ability to speak the prophetic word of god ay, 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 ay. It will come on some of you i release it upon you in the name of jesus listen some of you from today as you stand close to people just contact with them it will be like a register open in the realm of the spirit receive that grace in the name of jesus i pray for you the way God can have respect for the prayer of a man and solve another person's problem because of who prayed in the Bible God had respect for the prayers of men Elisha prayed right what well, it was Elijah that prayed that God will open the eyes of his servant he didn't ask the servant whether he had faith he had a covenant of answered prayer and because of it a man's eyes was open I pray for you in the name of Jesus Christ one more time may your eyes be open may your eyes be open hallelujah before anything will happen to you and to your loved ones may it never escape your vista you will see it hallelujah and I want to pray for people who the devil has manipulated their visions to a point that they no longer trust what they see you started seeing well but the devil wanting to confuse you shakatabata i tell you i see an anointing coming on people the devil wanted to confuse you and started aberrating your vision and what you started seeing stopped coming to pass in the name of jesus christ i pray for you right now receive clarity 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 by the power of the holy ghost we correct that anomaly in the name of jesus i don't know the spirit that is lingering around the body of christ giving men bad visions taking advantage of their prophetic dimensions and confusing them so that their words will not be heard and so that their visions will not be seen some of you now you have closed yourself to visions because the things you saw look corrupted 
I pray for you again. May that spirit that manipulates your visions be casted out of your life right now. Give me one minute, the last prayer point. Now look at me. One of the most frustrating things about the prophetic is to see things and not have the power to make them happen. Are we together? The apex of the prophetic is not the revelatory dimension. I can see that God wants to bless Pastor Alpha, but do I have the power to transport that reality? You can see that you are already a millionaire in the spirit. But do you have the unction that it takes capacity to draw things from the spirit to find expression? So let me tell you, because many of us do not have capacity, the devil has made rubbish of our ministries. Because you prophesy to men and what you saw is true, but it never happens. And the devil says, you see, this person is lying. And over time, you have seen that you are seeing is correct but the unction to establish it in the physical realm is not there but i pray for you not only will you see not only will you speak power to draw it to pass i release it upon you 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 hallelujah prophecy whets the appetite of men it takes power to make it happen the creative power of god by this time tomorrow it was not a suggestion it was created prophetically go and come back with your miracle child that's creation so god can show me that Shadrach should enter a dimension in the spirit but do I have the unction to make that chapter in the spirit manifest that's authentic power one more time I pray for you everything that makes your prophecy barren of manifestation I command it to dry up right now I command it to dry up right now I command it to dry up right now you will speak to men and it will happen speedily. You will speak to men and it will happen speedily. Hallelujah. 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 Obtained promises. Obtained promises. Obtained promises. What things soever ye desire when ye pray believe that thou received it and thou shall have it listen in the next two minutes i'd like you to receive things in the spirit the things that the bible said please don't take casual this opportunity we are operating under an anointing i'd like you to declare receive by faith in the name of jesus receive mantles receive anointings receive open doors receive favors receive ble blessings receive graces in the name of jesus receive ease you may receive that your joy may be fulfilled hallelujah praise the lord we're wrapping up now please i'd like you to take this remaining two minutes seriously you are going to make decrees you are not talking to god you are talking to your destiny 
you are talking to your life are you ready to pray open your mouth and make decrees lift up your heads oh ye gates La parusa siaka parusa zik en de prato sala gada prada gada bush skabarato sabrande ge parusia tabaladaba in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus we release the spirit of faith we decree and declare in the name of Jesus the workings of miracles supernatural testimonies by the power of the Holy Ghost from nation to nation from state to state from territory to territory we decree and declare by the power of the Holy Ghost turn again the captivity of Zion like the streams of the Negev Shalabarato Zagadaradu Zedekas and Tekele Barato Sabaroto Zubahasa and Delegrando Sadabaru Sedias Krabagabaruda Sige Baru Dizias and Gratu Sabradabaratu Ziatash in the name of Jesus turn situations around we declare by the power of the Holy Ghost Hallelujah in the name of Jesus agree with me in the name of Jesus Amen. and the apostle says Lord behold their threatenings and we pray that you stretch forth your hands and you grant that miracle signs and wonders be wrought in the name of your holy son 
he said behold their threatenings respond to their threatenings by stretching forth your hands and that miracles and signs and wonders be wrought in the name of your holy son father we decree and declare these are issues that have threatened the liberty of the saints they have robbed you of glory and lord we bring them under judgment in the name of jesus and lord i stand in agreement with every grace within this house and we decree and prophesy that these egyptians you see today in the name of jesus you see them no more forever these egyptians you see today, in the name of jesus you see them no more forever my bible says when the lord turned again the captivity of zion he said we were like them that dream and our mouths were filled with laughter and they said among the hidden the lord had done great things for us he says the lord had done great things for us whereof we are glad then he says turn again our captivity like the streams of the south we decree and declare that everything that represents captivity here let it be turned like the streams of the south The Bible says, have you heard of this proverb before that a nation be born in one day? But then it says, as soon as Zion travails, it says she shall put forth her son. I declare speed to every request here. <laughs> Prophet Joel speaking by the Spirit said, and I will restore the years. Let me tell you this, real dominion is dominion over time. No matter what you dominate, if you do not dominate time, you are not walking in dominion. And I will restore the years. Many of us, we've wasted time, we've wasted opportunities. In the name of Jesus, let there be restoration. <laughs> Hallelujah. Now, I pray for you. Listen. Every time we, we wrap up these meetings with impartations, it is not a ceremony not many people are really sick not many people are really oppressed but the challenge with many believers is that we may sustain the knowledge but we do not sustain the grace that provides for the possibilities that we desire the bible says and god is able to make all grace abound towards you the key to sufficiency is sustaining the requisite level of grace there is a grace that controls speed there is a grace that controls favor you can be hard working but it does not mean you have favor the bible says it is vain to wake up in the morning it takes agility to wake up in the morning and then to sleep late at night only to eat the bread of sorrow but the bible says he gives his beloved rest he can bring his beloved into sabbaths hallelujah yes there is a grace that compels the helpers of your destiny to find you just because they were ordained to help you does not mean they will find you no the king sent for joseph and they brought him out of his dungeon hallelujah we desire all kinds of favors we desire all kinds of liftings and let me tell you sincerely these things are not in heaven they've left long from the foundations of the earth the bible lets us know that we have been blessed with all spiritual blessings in heavenly places routed through the christ it will take understanding of his systems to make these things become real in our lives and the possibilities in the life of a believer please hear this we are wrapping up is governed by three things number one is governed by your understanding of the ways of god the methodologies of god as it makes for that issue of concern every need in the kingdom has a requisite level of spiritual understanding colossians 1 verse 9 that we be filled with the knowledge of his will that we be filled with all wisdom and with spiritual understanding so everything we desire there is a requisite level of spiritual understanding that sponsors that possibility number two having obtained the understanding you will need the grace the empowerment that causes you to walk in the experience of that which you now know hallelujah and so paul is saying god is able it is within his ability the bible says do not withhold good from him that is due when it is within your power 
it is within the power of god to lift it is within the power of god to restore listen to me it is within the power of god to bless to open doors but there are graces that control it thou anointest my head with oil my cup he does not anoint your cup you know what is on your head by looking at your cup if your head is anointed your cup will prove it thou anointest my head with oil my ministry overflows you anoint my head with oil my finances overflow you anoint my head with oil favor overflows so the real problem for many people is a correct understanding of impartation impartation is not anointing with oil impartation is not even falling down impartation is a spiritual system by which the possibilities of the spirit are transferred is the transference of spiritual possibilities and the thing the operation of god's grace in the life of a man the anointing the engracing if it is there it is there if it's not there it's not there it's as simple as that if it is there it will speak immediately hallelujah so it is possible that you walk out of this meeting tonight with a dimension of grace you did not come with and you will know by the results that begin to change remember our teaching that christ be revealed that christ be glorified but there is a coordination of graces the weightiness of a man in the spirit is a summation of the graces that are at work in your life when you become a a compendium of several graces then your possibilities become defined by these graces favor speed lifting access to the hearts of men there is a grace that makes a generation loyal to you it takes more than leadership it is a grace there is a grace that compels everything that is in your hand to multiply it's true that a woman can be fine akara and yet build from that business it's not a car that built it there is a grace on it that is the grace that can make five loaf and two fish to feed five thousand people and still have 12 baskets full listen please hear me anything you do and i'm not stupid believe me i know what i'm saying anything you do without being empowered first is a total waste of time do business from the strength of the flesh and you will watch yourself have a plethora of frustrations it will come one after the other in successions that will frustrate you but let that investment of the spirit rest upon your life and you will watch things that should not work work the anointing of the spirit does not work generically anointings are in levels and dimensions and they limit themselves to the jurisdiction of their operation the grace for favor will not heal the sick please listen to me are we together now the grace for wisdom will not necessarily bring speed as it were so the bible says god is able to make all grace all abound towards you I like to know what graces are not at work in my life so that I pursue them with hunger, desperation, and honor. So when we are gathered like this, haven't received prayer for healing, haven't received the word, I think in my opinion that one of the most important things that you receive is a new anointing, a new dimension, either a higher level of the same grace or a new dimension of a grace that you did not have. You can have the grace that makes for productivity, but not have the grace for favor. Everything you have, you work for. That's not profitable. You will not be able to give God glory. The proof of favor is not money. The proof of favor is the loyalty of the hearts of men. Hallelujah. Are you ready to receive? I have watched with shock how people have neglected graces that their destinies their ministries their businesses require and i have also watched with shock at the childlike reception that ordinary people have 
just come to embrace graces that turn them into signs and wonders i've shared with you again and again my testimonies that i am a product of many anointings many anointings i like to find the graces that are not at work in my life and i know them by tracing the things that look like limitations in my life i'm like a spiritual archaeologist i thank god for that which is at work but i search for that which is not at work because every grace is available it takes discernment and honor to receive hallelujah and i'm standing tonight in agreement with all the graces of the men and the women of god in this place and if you can believe you will be surprised you see i have prayed for many years and i will tell you this you know that i love you you are my people i'm committed to your growth please listen to me <clears throat> there is a grace i have prayed and cried to god over that it will rest upon this house in a lavish way and is the grace for favor i have seen people reproduce various graces the anointing the healing the wisdom of god but i don't know why this favor dimension <clears throat> when the favor of god comes upon your life you will stand and marvel you will wonder at how men become like robots to see to it that your destiny manifests it is a grace for favor that will call the kings of tyre and sidon to come and entreat your favor they will come to you with their bounties they will entreat you to receive from their benevolence it takes the grace of god everyone who lifts you has relatives in need whatever will make him leave them and come to you must be the hand of god favor accelerates destiny believe me it does it can take 10 years and put it in one year in this kingdom who hates you does not matter but who likes you matters that is what it means to be Beulah and Hephzibah. You become a delight. A delight. In the name of Jesus. The favor that is required in this season for the glory of the saints. I prophesy upon you. Let it rest on your life now. Access to the hearts of kings access to the resources of nobles receive that grace in the name of jesus exodus chapter 3 and verse 21 this is the litmus test for favor if favor is at work in your life this is the proof if favor is not at work in your life this is the proof and i will give these people favor in the sight of the egyptians and it shall come to pass that when ye go ye shall not go empty emptiness has an explanation when no man arises to see you important enough for them to invest their time their credibility their reputation their resources to honor the dealings of god in your life hear me the diagnosis is that you do not sustain favor it's not yet at work in your life one more time i pray in the name of jesus the favor that will move you and shift you to strange dimensions of grace may it rest upon you now in the name of jesus i declare the wisdom that comes from above the wisdom the hidden wisdom of god that was ordained for the glory of the saints may that dimension of wisdom be made manifest in your life from tonight <laughs> hallelujah the bible says because thou hast loved righteousness 
and hated wickedness it says therefore even god thy god hath anointed you with an oil called the oil of gladness and it says that oil sets you above your fellows the grace that distinguishes you in the name of jesus may that grace rest upon you hallelujah the bible says and the king sent for joseph and they brought him out of his dungeon not god the king a king can send for you and bring you out of your situation listen listen to me the king sent for joseph not god there are men who can help men all blessings come from god through men to men i declare the man that is ordained of god to hold your hands your ministry your business in this season and to see to it that you rise in the name of jesus enjoy their ministry hallelujah praise the lord i pray for every dead vision every dead dream that which has been locked up in your spirit man but has refused to find expression i give it life right now in the name of jesus can i pray for your family it says as for me and my house when you serve the lord alone you are not free it must be you and your house i pray for your family members may the angel of his presence go to every family and see to it that it becomes a reflection of the glory of god hallelujah acts chapter 12 the bible says on account of the gospel peter was caught after james was beheaded and he was chained and there were guards that protected him but the church prayed earnestly the bible says and then it says that the angel of the lord came into the prison cell and the chains fell off on their own and he led peter out two three gates the first gate opened him up and then the second gate opened him up and then the bible says he came to a gate called the iron gate and when that gate opened the next thing he saw was the city there are gates that must open for you to step into your place of influence watch this it was not the first gate it was not the second gate the iron gate opened and your business found visibility the iron gate open it says he has broken the gates of brass and cut the bars of iron in thunder the gates that must be open for your influence your business your ministry to find expression i speak to it a father be open be open be open be open in the name of jesus hear me i prophesy to you whoever fights you goes down instantly listen the bible says he suffered no man to do them wrong he reproved kings for their sake saying that means this is the basis touch not mine anointed and do my prophets no harm i say it again whoever fights you goes down instantly everyone here under the sound of my voice due for promotion i stand by the god of heaven and i shift you to the next level and everyone trusting god for a job in the parable that jesus gave they said why sittest thou idle he said no man employ us immediately they got a job i declare to you by the spirit between now and the next three months like the ark of god in the house of obed edom receive miracle testimonies <laughs> hallelujah let me speak to everything dead in your life we are done he came and met the girl 12 years old dead and he said no she only sleepeth and the people laughed and he drove them out 
and then he held her by the hands and said talita kumi little girl i say unto you arise i speak to everything that seems dead in the name of jesus by the spirit that raised christ from the dead Harusa baranda sibeta. in the name of jesus come back to life now hallelujah the bible says remember not the former things nor consider the things of old it says for behold i do a new thing i pray for you everything that does not represent the workings of god in your life in the name of jesus i declare that it fades with your yesterday and I open you up to a new season of supernatural manifestation. We cannot just stand coronavirus. We know is a spirit. It's not a virus. Can we agree? We stand in agreement as the church of the Lord Jesus Christ. The ecclesia, the body of Christ. We speak over the spiritual borders of Nigeria. The Bible says, pray for the peace of Jerusalem. They shall prosper who love you. We decree and declare, we banish the workings of evil from our territory. In the name of Jesus. The virus dies and it leaves our borders. And we pray for other nations of the world because it says in thee shall all the families of the earth be blessed we use china as a point of contact the u.s and their people here u.s uk whatever nation you are standing representing we decree and declare coronavirus in the name of jesus we banish you from the nations of the earth The name that is above all names I prophesy to everyone who is trusting God for direction for the next level of his life be it marriage be it whatever you are at a crossroad and you need the voice of God may you hear the voice of the Lord in the name of Jesus I prophesy clarity in the name of Jesus you don't have to bring them out just just leave them you don't have to bring them out again we're out of time I prophesy everyone who is already moving the wrong direction either as a result of wrong advices or wrong perceptions about the path of both spiritual and physical progress in the name of Jesus may the Lord redirect your steps now may the Lord redirect your steps now may the Lord redirect your steps now anyone about to leave the geography of your anointing as a result of wrong counsel or the quest for greener pastures the bible says there is a way that seemed right you must be at the geography of your grace to drive and isaac sowed not everywhere in that land in the name that is above all names may you hear the voice of his majesty as you sleep tonight may you hear the voice of his majesty I pray for everybody here who is experiencing stagnation you are marking time and instead of you to make progress you are not moving by extension to every family in the name that is above all names the Lord told Moses why are you crying to me tell the people to move forward I prophesy over your destiny move forward now Move forward now. Move forward now. Make progress now. Make progress now. I
prophesy over those trusting God to settle down maritally. Man to paladapa. Man Every power of darkness tying down your marital destiny in the name of Jesus. That embargo is lifted now by the blood of Jesus. That embargo is lifted now. Sisters, I open your marital doors now. In the name of Jesus. No more shall this proverb be used in your life. May the Lord change your story. Hallelujah. Because thou hast loved righteousness and hated wickedness, therefore God, even thy God has anointed you with an oil of gladness and that oil sets you above your fellows in the name of Jesus. The anointing that distinguishes you. Man toka parata legata. So bread take a teleke boshia. From today, everywhere you go, be distinguished now. Help them please. So that they don't be distinguished now. Sekete pokoto. Be distinguished now. No more will you be common. No more will you be like the rest. The hand of God is upon you. No more will you be common. I prophesy from the depths of my heart. Let an anointing that distinguishes you rest upon you now. All those trusting God for jobs. Let me there's nothing as joblessness the bible says he saw them idle and he said why standards he idle and they say no man employ us he told them go to the vine when god speaks there must be job in the name of the lord jesus wherever your job is i don't care what the limiting factors are there is a superior advantage because you are in christ therefore i invoke man kato sotobala by the ministry of destiny help us wherever you need to be called wherever your cv is i provoke a miracle job now 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 hallelujah i pray for everyone called barren in this place anyone called barren in this place i declare to you according to the word of the lord that according to the time of life may you return with your miracle child may you return with your miracle child i speak it I establish it in the spirit. Zechariah chapter 1 verse 18. It says, Son of man, what seest thou? And he said, Four horns. These are the horns that have lifted up themselves against Israel, against Jerusalem, and against Judah. So that no man will lift up his head. He said, But I have sent carpenters in the name that is above all names. The Lord told me He will bring breakthrough. I want to prophesy it now. Whatever has limited you, whatever has limited your family, right now in the name that is above all names, I come with the rod of a higher priesthood and I command every limitation be broken now. Limitations be broken now. Limitations go to 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 to. Ay 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 ay. I sense the anointing of the Holy Ghost. Limitations be broken now. Be broken now. Be broken now. Let the power of God break every limitation now. Hallelujah. It 
told Saul, he said, as you return, you will see three men holding bread, but two of them will give it to you. Does that mean they didn't want the bread for themselves? In the name that is above all names. The favor of God that can end the struggles in a man's life. Please believe the prayer I'm praying for you. Please believe it. It's not by power. There is a realm of ease that comes by the favor of God. Therefore, in the name that is above all names, I prophesy, receive favor. Favor. Let the Esther anointing come upon you now. Favor with men. Favor with God. Favor with kings. Favor with destiny helpers. In the name of Jesus. Every wine presser and baker that needs to speak to the king on your behalf in the name that is above all names we provoke their ministry now we provoke their ministry now we provoke their ministry now hallelujah whatever you have been trying to do and you don't you don't seem to make progress you keep going around cycles of the same thing in the name that is above all names everything you have tried and failed go and do it again this time with the anointing in the name of jesus everything you have tried to do and you failed i provoke an anointing upon your life and with this anointing go back and do it again it's a master we have toiled all night but he said nevertheless at thy word i bring the word of the lord to your life now what did not work before let it begin to work now hallelujah i pray for every family going through pain and suffering and limitation and bondage every family represented here he said as for me and my house not as for me alone as for me and my house hallelujah in the name of jesus may the fire of god may the fire of the holy ghost bring advancement in every family represented here i command every family make progress move forward make progress move forward move forward hallelujah i speak over everyone here and every family anyone marked for death anyone marked for death all earth i speak hear the word of the lord we forbid the earth from taking the body of anyone here you remain immortal until your assignment is complete you do not live by the sword therefore you will not die by the sword in the name of jesus you are separated from the wickedness and the harassment of terrorism you are separated from the pestilence and the plagues that cause men to be afraid in the name of the lord jesus christ in the name of the lord jesus christ and for many who are students here mando kasikete pakadata rakato bosku brindiki jabalal in the name of jesus every yoke of academic bondage in the name that is above all names i command be free from it now 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 therefore i release upon you the spirit of excellence receive the spirit of excellence on common speed academic exploits in the name of jesus
hallelujah for every ministry every business everything that is dead and grounded in the name that is above all names like the dry bones in the valley of ezekiel i command life to it now i command life now i command life now in the name of the lord jesus christ i command life now hallelujah everyone in ministry in this place I pray for you let the doors of opportunity be open up to you you are not designed to market yourself the Bible said let her walk speak for her at the gates I command everything stopping your work from speaking for you let there be an anointing that announces you in the name of Jesus Christ every struggle in any area of ministry we call it to end now in the name of jesus and anyone who is in ministry and you are confused you really don't know where you stand you don't know the spiritual paradigm you should be representing in the name that is above all names let there be clarity absolute clarity in the name of jesus now lift up your hands i want to pray for your finances in the name that is above all names first and foremost i cause the spirit of greed that stops you from engaging the principles that will bring true wealth and abundance i command the giving grace to come upon you in the name of jesus i cause the spirit of greed let it be far from your life in the name of jesus grace for you to be a faithful tither grace for you to be a faithful giver grace for you to be a kingdom investor may god give you wisdom may god give you favor may god bless the works of your hands therefore i release a supernatural anointing for you to prosper receive it in the name of jesus receive it in the name of jesus god gives you wisdom god gives you ideas in the name of jesus hallelujah everyone here who is trusting god and is saying lord restore everyone here who had a better yesterday that is saying lord if there was a way i can turn the hands of time i prophesy to you there is a god that can turn the hands of time and cause men to experience restoration therefore in the name that is above all names we bring back into your life every opportunity that was once lost in the name of jesus opportunity for favor receive it opportunity for healthy connections every opportunity in your life that has been wasted by the favor and the mercy of god we call back that opportunity to return in the name of jesus christ we call it to return in the name of jesus christ hallelujah hallelujah i pray finally whatever has made you cry in the name that is above all names whatever has brought tears out of your eyes because you were in a state where nothing and no one could help you in the name that is above all names may my god arise for you and that everyone who has laughed at you and said where is their god in the name that is above all names that god will arise for you my god will arise for you my god will arise for you now hold on there is the healing anointing that will come upon some people right now lift your hands father as many of those people right now right now right now it's going to come as fire i see liquid fire in the spirit go ahead and shout jesus once one to go receive it the healing 
anointing. The healing anointing. The healing anointing. Receive it now. Inside and outside. Receive it now. By the power of the Holy Ghost. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Someone hold Sade. Hold Sade so she doesn't fall. Hold her for the healing anointing is coming on her. It's, it's, it's more of a stirring because it has always been there. It has always been there. Three of you hold your hands. Ken, Kenyan promise. Hold your hands. Look at me. In the name of Jesus. Take this now by the power of the Holy Ghost. Step into new levels. New levels of the anointing. New levels of the power of the Spirit. New dimensions in the Spirit. I'm going to pray for you. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, we pray right now. There are thousands of people Miracles will be happening as I'm praying. Some of you is happening to your members at home. Father, miracles will break out right now. At the count of three, I just felt the anointing on me. One, two. Prayer requests are being answered supernaturally. Job, 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 job. A job is coming. I see it. Marriage is coming. I see it. Admission, admission. Job, job request. Wayek. Someone wants to get married before December. I see it. Financial breakthrough. Answer for your mother. Answer for your mother. Salvation of your family members. Mighty salvation. Some of them are in the prayer parlor. The angel of the Lord is going after them. Father, we have made this place an altar of praise where you turn every weeping into mourning. This is no pretense, oh God. I speak right now. Let every prayer request those women on my head. And for those streaming online, I change it to be testimonies now. Everybody stand. In the name of Jesus. Please, everybody stand. I speak to you. I speak to you. Prayer request. Believe in the Lord, and that and which is established will share the thoughts of the Lord. His prophets become testimonies and be delivered for God's people in the name of Jesus. Please lift your hands, everybody. Hallelujah! Give God thanks, it is done. Hallelujah! Please, as I speak. I want you to believe it. I want you to receive it. While I pray, the Lord told me if it does not happen, it's because we did not speak it. Things will change right now. As I speak, the angels of the Lord will begin to move to the areas that I'm speaking. All I need you to do is to shout a believing amen when you need to. Hallelujah. Every terminal disease 
represented in the life of anybody here or any family by the fire of the Holy Ghost right now it leaves your life and your family forever receive it Infirmities are going. Infirmities are going. 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 Cancer go. Cancer go. HIV die. HIV die. SS change to AA. SS change to AA. Change to AA. Every blood disease, go, go, go. Every blood disease, go now. Go now. My grain headache, go now. Go now. Fibroid, go now. Go now. Peptic ulcer, be gone right now, be gone right now. HIV, one and two, in any body or family, I command you, die now. Every infection, in ladies and guys right now by the fire of the holy ghost be healed now every eye problem be gone now deafness in the ears go now any of your family members who is bedridden, whether for stroke, I'm seeing stroke and partial paralysis right now in the name of Jesus, I command them to arise from that bed. Every plague of death over any family, he said, and when I see the blood, I will pass. I pray any devil that has said you will not see 2014 and has said your family members will not see you, I curse that devil in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Any kind of delay in this place, marital delay or any kind of delay at the count of three looks and causes of delay because one two three go 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hear me. Hear me. Any altar of darkness. Hear me. I don't care where it's coming from. That is speaking against your life or the well being of your family. Right now, that altar, wherever it is, it will catch fire now. Catch fire now! It will catch fire now! Second Catch fire! Catch fire! Now! Every altar! Second Every altar! Catch fire! Catch fire! Now! Every altar! Against any family! Catch fire! Now! Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. Listen. Whoever has been marked for disfavor, that they say things cannot work for you or your family members, I remove that embargo of disfavor now. 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 Hallelujah. Hear me. Whatever the devil has stolen from your family, whatever the devil has stolen in your life, I stand as a servant of God. This one is going to hit many people. There are many families that need restoration. I will show, restore at the count of three. We are hurrying up, we are out of time. Father, let the wind and the angel of restoration move across this place. One, two, three. Take it, take it, take it, take it. I command restoration. I command restoration. Take it, take it, take it, take it. Restore. Hallelujah. Every yoke of academic failure, whether Wayek, whether Chan, some of you have not been able to enter the institution right now. I see fire. There are many of you, it's an embargo of darkness. You will feel like something jumping out of your head right now. I command yokes of academic failure. Believe them now. 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 In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hear me. Some of you have struggled. Hear me. Some of you are Christians. But you have struggled with habits. Masturbation. Pornography. It's not like you are bad. You have been trying and trying to stop. It's eating your life. Whether for you or for your loved one. Right now, I pray. That embargo of darkness. Sin shall not have dominion. And I pray, whatever spirit that sponsors that kind of life leaves you now. 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 Anyone here looking for a job, all your family members, they've tried they've applied everywhere my bible says promotion comes neither from the east nor the south nor the west i pray right now let an anointing that will cause your destiny help us and that of your family members to locate you may that anointing shoot you now take it take it I command miracle jobs, miracle jobs, miracle jobs in the name of Jesus. Those of us who are in business, all your family members are in business. I pray right now in the name that is above all names. The Bible says it shall be like a tree that is planted by the streams of water, which yield its fruit in season. And who sleep does not wither, whatever you do it prospers. I pray right now. I command every business here. Grow in the name of Jesus. Grow in the name of Jesus. Expand in the name of Jesus. Increase in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Now hear me. Whatever trouble is in your family, some of you, your families are at the brink of divorce. 
some of you your father is not taking care of you i don't care family problems god is visiting them now every family problem because god emerged this miracle service for families every problem satan is hiding behind the corner and joining the heads of people to at the count of three be released one two three families be free families be released i command peace i command prosperity i command love every foul spirit responsible for the situation in families be lifted now in the name of jesus Those who have been destined to help you and take you to the next level of your life right now wherever they are destiny help us i call you into the life of god's people wine pressers and bakers so forth come forth And he went to the tomb of Lazarus and Lazarus was dead four days and he called him forth right now whatever is dead in your life and your family I stand under this unction of God and I pray whatever is dead I command it right now let that which is dead hear the voice of the Lord come forth now come forth now Whatever is dead, come forth now. Hallelujah. I release breakthrough into your life. Receive it. All kinds of breakthroughs. All kinds of breakthroughs. You are well favored. I pray for your spiritual life. Some of you, your spiritual lives are zero no word life no prayer life tonight let a fire that not even you can quench fire prayer fire word fire take it take it receive it in the name of jesus a hunger for the things of the spirit take it take it take it a hunger to study the word to be obedient receive it in the name of Jesus hallelujah hear me the Bible says because thou hast loved righteousness and hated wickedness therefore God even thy God has anointed you with an oil of gladness and the Bible says that oil puts you above your fellows I pray for you wherever you go from today let there be an anointing you cannot explain that will distinguish you let it distinguish you out of the crowd let it distinguish you receive it in the name of Jesus any member of your family that is not born again I pray by the permission of the Spirit of God, let the angels of God look for them and bring them into the faith now. No matter how happy they are, we call them born again now. We establish it. Every power that is not of God must let you and your family go tonight. Hallelujah. Father, visit your people. 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 Now hear me. At the count of three. Mm. 
I see that sword again. I see that sword. Bring them out. I see that sword of the spirit. At the count of three, hear me. Inside and outside, there will be a convocation of the power of God. And every yoke of darkness must give way right now. Every spell and every enchantment. Man te la katosota is a blotting out every handwriting and every ordinance. Lift your hands at the count of three. I like us to shout that name that is above every other name. I invoke the power of the kingdom I represent and I declare in the name of the Lord Jesus that everyone and every family under any spell bring them out ushers every spell of darkness in the name that is above all names i speak with an apostolic voice from the realm of the spirit in the name of jesus that every power every witchcraft that has kept god's people down you must go now at the count of three shout that name one two get ready now go 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 three go press go pay. now now i command those powers i command powers inside and outside in the overflow right now right now marco pocotos in the name of jesus i command judgment judgment every altar every yoke outside there are angels moving outside there are angels with mighty swords Outside, no power that ties your destiny will remain tonight. Hallelujah. I see the angels of the Lord moving outside. All those in the overflow, right to the second overflow at the back. Lift your hands. Lift your hands, everybody outside. Jesus, in the name of jesus i want those outside to shout that name jesus and there are people i see chains chains around people at the count of three those outside the holy ghost is going to visit families there is fire that will fall outside are you ready now those outside one two three I'm hearing in my spirit the spirit of wisdom the spirit of wisdom the spirit of wisdom the Lord is asking me to count four one two three four make it now let it be long spread wisdom and see man to fall in man to fall in strange wisdom coming from heaven strange wisdom coming from heaven 
Receive it right now. Supernatural wisdom. Supernatural wisdom. Supernatural wisdom. Hallelujah. The Lord is sending somebody who used to have dreams and everything you see will come to pass but he stopped right now i'm seeing a grace for restoration coming upon you right now in the name of jesus it's not a general prophecy there are exact people that this is happening to a restoration a restoration a restoration a restoration a restoration Hallelujah. There is a grace. I feel like praying for students. There is a grace for academic excellence. Listen, it doesn't just happen. Believe me. It's not just about what you learn. There is a grace. There is a, an exact grace for this. Lord, I pray right now in a name that is above all names. I stretch my hands to your people. As many, oh God, as you please me. Let this baptism of this function for extraordinary understanding. Let it come upon them right now. At the count of three, receive it now. One, two, three. Make it now. Please help them. Receive that grace right now. It's coming upon you. Extraordinary intelligence. Capacity to assimilate. Capacity to understand. Capacity to understand. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That fair lady that shared her testimony, lift your hands. I see an angel pouring something like fire on your head. Father, in the name of Jesus, let us step into a level of extraordinary intelligence. I don't know you, but I release that grace upon you. From today, you a strange dimension of grace and intelligence. In the name of Jesus, receive it right now. By the power of the Holy Spirit. Receive it right now by the power of the Holy Spirit. By the power of the Holy Spirit. There is a grace for entrepreneurship, creativity, witty inventions. In the name of Jesus Christ, I'm seeing at least 43 people. Right now, in the name of Jesus, I stretch my hands. Let it come on them, O oh God. Believe me, let it come on them, O oh God. Let it come on them, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. Let it come on them, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. Let it come on them, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. I stretch my hands now. 43. I'm seeing the number 43. Strange ideas coming on your spirit now. Strange ideas. Creative ideas. Strange ideas. Creative ideas. Receive it right now. I want to pray for those in ministry. There is always an unction for the next dimension. I don't know where you are, but you're going to begin to feel fire from your feet. Rising upwards. That's the instruction God is giving me. In the name of Jesus, Lord, I'm praying right now. Fresh fire. Fresh mantle. Let it begin to arise now. You are in ministry in this place. Begin to receive it right now. In the name of Jesus. Receive it right now. In the name of Jesus. Receive it right now. Those in ministry have them. Separo Tosso Koto Baria. Lekake Kotoso Preska Labariata. Sabra Tesso Sobesco Kotos. Strange fire. I see strange fire rising from the feet. Rise on top from the feet. Rise on top from the feet. Please help them. In the name of Jesus. Can you carry the child so that he doesn't? In the name of Jesus. Strange fire. Revival fire, supernatural unction, supernatural unction, supernatural unction, supernatural unction. 
Haleluya. The Lord is ministering to me about a group of people here that He wants to bring into intimacy with Him. There is a dimension of intimacy. It will surprise you. You will start finding out that you are going alone to go and sit in a place. The Holy Spirit wants to reintroduce Himself to certain people. Lord, where are they? Where are they? Find them. Find them tonight. Find rest in them. Where are these men and women? Where are these men and women that you want to introduce yourself to? Beyond church. Beyond church. Beyond church. Hallelujah. Ah! I'm seeing people here who will be burning for days like fire, literal physical fire that will not stop. You will go with it, you will wake up with it, it will continue. There is an energizing of the spirit that is happening to people. An energizing of the spirit happening to people. It's a fresh fire. It's a fresh fire. Hallelujah. If you came with anything that is a point of contact, whether a document, a certificate, whatever it is that is a point of contact, whether you are inside or outside, anything you can use I want you to lift it up so many things are happening to people in the realm of the spirit there's someone at the media stand the Lord is lifting that person to the next level I'm seeing someone in a vision down at the media stand stepping up let them enter oh God right now let them enter into that realm that dimension somebody at the media stand the lord is just like an initiation into a dimension into a dimension hallelujah acts chapter 19 says handkerchiefs and aprons Handkerchiefs and aprons. I've explained to you the mystery behind these results. No man can speak over your life and you just have results like that. It, it doesn't happen that way. I'm about to speak over your points of contact. If you don't have anything, you are the point of contact yourself. Are we together? Many of you will be surprised. Believe me. Believe me. Many of you will be surprised at the dramatic things that will happen. We are talking about the Holy Spirit here. We are not just talking about an anointed man. We are talking about the Holy Spirit. His anointing like a cloud comes to mantle certain aspects of your life. And you see grace speaking for you. Grace speaking for you. Up, you can lift your hands. In the name that is above all names, I prophesy upon every point of contact you are using now. Let a grace, the power of performance that makes things to work, I release it right now upon that instrument. 
I release it upon your documents. I release it upon your pictures. I release it upon your certificates. I release it upon your proposals. Whatever you are agreeing for as a point of contact, I give life to it now. In the name of Jesus Christ. And I decree and declare by the power of the Holy Spirit. A dimension of results you have never seen, begin to see it now. I speak to every CGPA that is down here. Hear my voice. I speak as one sent by the Lord. I command you to arise now. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. There are people who are supposed to graduate, but as it is now, it looks like they may not graduate. I change it now. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I decree and declare. Where your helpers have passed you and ignored you. I put an anointing on you that will compel them to bless you. I put an anointing on you that will compel them to bless you. Listen. Everything that used to flow in your life and stopped mysteriously I opened the door for it to continue everyone here in business any kind of godly business I stretch my hands enter a level of rest now believe what I'm praying for you I bring you into a dimension of rest now every troubled family here all kinds of troubles from lack of finances to trouble to fight to quarrel in the name of Jesus I introduce an anointing to that family and I command let there be peace right now 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 every troubled family let there be peace right now there are people here who need divine direction as a matter of urgency i speak to you hear his voice and hear it clear hear his voice and hear it clear hear his voice and hear it clear in the name of jesus christ in dreams and visions may his will be made known to you in the name of jesus christ i command every manifestation of the spirit of fear fear of the unknown fear of the future uncertainties around your life that is making you do foolish things i command right now fear go in the name of jesus fear go in the name of jesus Fear, go in the name of Jesus. Fear, go in the name of Jesus. Every veil of this favor that is around your life that makes things to work for others until it gets to your turn and then mysteriously when the breakthrough is almost coming you never see it i decree and declare in the name of the Lord Jesus, I command that captivity to end now. I command that captivity to end now. Hear me. Everyone called jobless here. I stand in the name of Jesus, the Son of the Living God. I decree and declare, may your miracle job find you. Believe what you are hearing. May your miracle job find you. In the name of Jesus. 
now i pray for anyone here having any infirmity i don't care what it is i don't care how long any stranger in your body a lady is going to shout now under the anointing and then the power of god for healing will touch people in the name of jesus i command the healed now say amen be healed now be healed now be healed now every blood disease be healed now ulcers be healed now my brains be healed now every kind of abnormal condition in your body be healed now growths and lumps around the body whether breast lumps all kinds of lumps i command that they disappear right now in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ i pray for your family in the name of jesus between now and the next seven days may you hear strange testimonies from god please believe me i said to them between now and the next seven days i stand in the name of the lord god of heaven and i command in the next seven days unusual testimonies unusual testimonies unusual testimonies unusual testimonies unusual testimonies it doesn't take time it takes his anointing everything that your hands have done and it did not work I stretch my hands to yours and I command from today become a peace producer I command today become a resort producer become a resort producer become a proof producer in the name of Jesus hear me every pending issue over your life every pending issue any kind of pending issue right now issues that have been hanging in the realm of the spirit and will not be resolved i decree and declare let an end come to those issues now let an end come to those issues now let an end come to those issues now every family here that has experienced delay as a family not an individual alone shake it here there is unction upon me the hand of god is upon me in the name of jesus i decree and declare the lord is asking me to push families forward i push you forward now by the mystery of prophecy i push you forward now i push you forward now in the name of jesus christ whoever must show up in your life and lift you and lift your mother and lift your father and wipe your tears in the name of jesus i stand by the god of heaven whose i am and i decree and declare that between now and the next two weeks strange encounters Encounters, strange encounters with the gift of men, strange encounters, strange encounters, mysterious coincidences that will lead to your breakthrough. Everything that has died in your hands and in your life, hear the word of the Lord. I command you to come back to life now. I want to pray please drop your hands just the brothers lift your hands I want to release upon you grace for establishment listen 
if you are wise you will pay attention to what i'm saying there is a grace that establishes men are we together now establishment is where you gain stability in life financially are we together relationally spiritually purposefully there are many men many church brothers the reason why many people are not in relationships the reason why many people cannot move forward in their life is because the devil has taken this aspect out of their lives so you find a godly brother but you are 35 years you are still begging for money you are still living in your parents house it's a cause lift your hands in the name of jesus i pray for every brother here the grace and the unction that turns weak men into great men the grace and the unction that establishes men financially ministerially career wise and in purpose at the count of three in the name of jesus christ which i am and to myself i decree and declare may that grace come upon you now one, two, three. Take that place now. Take that place now. Take that place now. Upon you. I command that place. There is a gentleman outside. That place is coming upon him in a mighty way. Take that place right now. Brothers, receive it now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Listen. It is this grace that brings speed of establishment in your life help us come to support you to gain your footing in life it's not just by growing old there is a grace you don't have to pay for everything by yourself there is a grace that sends help us to your life to your ministry establishment is a mystery in the spirit you can have a thing but when you are established you are you are well stabilized enough to now begin to be a blessing to others there are many people who are experiencing finances here but they are not established you are established means you can bless others without being affected established in wisdom your mind is developed so that you no longer act like a child two more prayers and we're done tonight The Lord is ministering to me. The Lord is ministering to me that He wants to take away barrenness. 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 It doesn't just mean physical barrenness alone. Unproductivity is a cause. Is the cause of hardship. The classic sign that a man is carrying that demonic thing is barrenness. In the name of Jesus, I command your desert to become a fruitful vine. In the name of Jesus, I command your fruitful vine to become a forest. I say it again in the name of Jesus, I command your desert to be a fruitful vine. I command your desert to be a fruitful vine. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. In one minute, I want you to ask the Lord for any one thing. I'm releasing my faith with you just one thing lift your voice and pray i'm releasing my faith with you please pray one minute ask the lord and watch it happen i release my faith with you in the name of jesus i release my faith with you ask the lord don't say it is impossible we are talking about the god of heaven here we are talking about the spirit of the living god what you see is the ministry of the spirit the ministry of the spirit ask what you will and it will be granted unto you by the spirit of god are you praying just one thing change my life just one thing give me laughter just one thing answer my marriage just one thing give me a child just one thing settle me financially just one thing multiply your grace of my life hallelujah 
whatever it is that you have asked the lord i release my faith with you and i call it your testimony in the name of jesus christ i release my faith with you and i call it your testimony listen the bible says and whatsoever adam called it that was the name thereof if it is called a testimony then it becomes a testimony in the name of jesus christ no matter how impossible it is may the god of all flesh the god of joshua that rides upon the wings of the wind i pray that he will step into your life and give you dramatic testimonies in the name of jesus christ you will literally start feeling the presence of the holy spirit like a presence walking literally literally i mean what i'm saying literally walking like someone walking you enter a room some of you you will feel it as wind some of you you will see that shadow a similitude of his presence you will begin to have encounters not demonic encounters encounters with his presence you will be sleeping hear me you will be sleeping and you will feel a physical touch a man will wake you you will be alone in the room yet you will hear a voice clear a real voice you will know that this is the spirit of god leading you in the name of jesus i activate that dimension begin to walk in the impulses of the spirit the voice of the spirit the thoughts of the spirit the feelings of the spirit i program your spirit man to understand the impulses of the holy ghost in the name of jesus christ yes he will come to you he will come to you he will open your bible when you are sleeping you will wake up and see your bible open he will write notes and leave his physical notes on paper you will see it happen he will pray and he will come to your room like benihim it will be good morning holy spirit you will have similitudes of encounters with him you will sleep in the night and your whole night will be full of visions 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 encounters visions encounters visions hear me men will come and sit on your bed and start shaking under the anointing because something a deposit of eternity has followed you they will wear your clothes and the mantle will catch up with them they will wear your shoes they will eat in your plates and you will carry strange fire in the name of jesus you will hear men call you and confess and tell you i'm sorry i'm the one who stole your laptop i'm sorry i'm the one who took this from you i'm sorry because of the presence of god listen by this new dimension of encounter i command that you become untouchable untouchable by witches and wizards untouchable by accidents untouchable by bomb blast untouchable by armed robbers in the name of jesus hear me water to shame your senior partner will arise for you no longer will people say where is your god your life will be an answer to that prophecy in the name of jesus christ listen there are some of you here what has happened to you tonight it will last for a long time the word of god the bible will open to you in a fresh way a way that you have never seen it a dimension that you have never seen hear me some of you after tonight god will start giving you instructions to go and pray for certain people don't be afraid you will go and you will watch miracles erupt signs and wonders erupt in the name of jesus christ hallelujah father i ask finally that everyone 
following online everyone following here inside and in any of the overflows everything that has made men mock God in your life I am agreeing with you from the depth of my heart I give you the next 13 days surprise them surprise them with the enviable results that will come from your life surprise your accusers surprise everyone who knew you in the name of Jesus